This started out as a protest against the policing bill in Parliament, but it quickly turned into a march against the tactics used by officers to break up Saturday night's vigil in memory of Sarah Everard. By the time it ended, the government had doubled the size of its Safer Streets Fund, aimed at improving lighting and CCTV. The Prime Minister really, really wanted to show that we are listening and that we want to act to help women feel safe in our streets, which is why this investment will go on very practical measures like increase, you know, better lighting, more CCTV, to try to give people that confidence that we really, really want to instil uh, after last week's terribly, terribly sad events. At Clapham Common, more and more tributes have been left at the bandstand, just a few streets away from where Sarah was abducted. We don't just need legislation, we need a kind of a UK-wide, a worldwide culture change. So much needs to change the way that we view women and the way that we respect women or the way that we don't respect women. The Prime Minister says he wants to drive out violence against women and girls and will bring in landmark legislation to toughen sentences and put more police on the streets. Saturday night's events in Clapham are now the subject of a review by the police inspectorate ordered by the Home Secretary, who has also urged the public not to attend any further vigils because of the pandemic. Wayne Cousins, the 48-year-old police officer charged with Sarah Everard's murder, will appear at the Old Bailey later today. Enda Brady, Sky News.